Greetings, Earthlings, Wisdom Keepers, Wisdom Seekers. Welcome back to Wisdom Drops, your source for daily drops of wisdom and savvy cat astrology. My name is Tanya, and today the title says it all. We are talking about Saturn in society and in your unique life. By the end of this, I think you're going to have just an interesting philosophical perception, of, you know, of mine <laughs> about Saturn and um, how it plays out in all of our lives. So Saturn is like uh, an absolute bastard to work with. Um, at the same time I say that, I need to make sure that I also say it's a necessary force and a force that's helpful if you're trying to build literally anything in this lifetime. And that is also like in terms of your own legacy, right? So if you're trying to build anything worth having, you need Saturn around. And so it's like a catch-22. It's like there's really no way out. The way out is patience and persistence. Um, that's really the way out. But in society, how does this pan out? Before I really get into more details, make sure you're subscribed if you're not already. Like this video by the end of it if it brings you any value whatsoever. And also, if you want to see details on the Wisdom Drops Astrology course I will be leading as of November 1st, uh, please do check out the link down below. Okay, same for readings. If you want a reading, just look down below. Now, with that said, in society, Saturn will push you. It will force you, it is the force that forces you to get real with yourself and adult, quote unquote. Everybody, I don't care who you are, has a Saturn return around, at the latest, 28 years old, um, through, at the earliest, 32 years old, um, at the latest, 36 years old, okay? So in that time frame, everybody who is an adult who lives that long goes through a Saturn return. And it's during this phase of life where you have to get real with yourself and check your shit. It's like, what is going on? What am I building? What am I here for? Like, you know, what is happening? And in this phase of life, you get reality check moments and you also get denied things at this phase of life. And you also have to put in uh, persistence and resilience in this phase of life, right? But how does that play out in societal terms? Saturn is the force that tells you no. It's the man. It's the government. It's tradition. It's limitation. It could even be a good teacher or a bad teacher, for that matter, who's limiting you in something because they want you to produce something else, um, you know, that they view as being more valuable and more... Um, longevity, if, like more um, sturdy, if you will, Saturnian, Saturnine. So it's like this painful force, Saturn. And when you're in a melancholy or depression, that's Saturnian. And when you're in, uh, you know, fatigue from just working, 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 time in, time out, throughout time, you're in Saturnian vibration, Saturnine vibes, you know. So... I guess like this video is to kind of just give some light on this force in society that tells us no and also to then bring in the wisdom of Mars which is the wisdom of what you can do uh, within that or outside of that conflict. Uranus is like for real for real what you can do outside of that area of limitation right but uh, Saturn is the the force of negation and it has a function it has a purpose as do organized you know systems and structures but Mars and Uranus are more of the innovation and the action-oriented planet.